Today we're listening to Hank Port and Emma Heasters sing Vivo Per Le. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I write a love letter to my subscribers every Monday. Get your love letter in the description box below. Now let's get started. So this is a Patreon request. My American patron, Tom Ward, suggested after the week that we've had, it might be really good to delve back into the 2019 season of Best Zangers for an episode that I didn't actually react to yet. Hank Port and Emma Heasters singing Vivo Perle. Vivo Perle was recorded by Andrea Bocelli in 1990. 95 as a duet with an artist named Georgia. Vivo Perle translates into I live for her. And what sounds like a love song, you really realize as you read the English translation as it's going on, that the her is actually music. After reading the lyrics, which I am going to try to remember to put in the description box below, or at least a link to reading the lyrics because they are just beautiful, I realized this is how I feel about music too. And so I so appreciate Tom's suggestion that we need a little bit of joy and levity and a reminder of the things that are really important right now in life. the show and let me just tell you for those of you who are new to the channel maybe you don't understand what's going on here this is a Dutch television show where they have Dutch singers who are I don't think they were that well known because this is really how Floor became more well known from what I'm told after being on the show so you saw Floor Janssen there sitting um, in the small group of singers this is not a show about who is the best and we're here to crush each other and try to win something. It's about, and it makes me wanna cry, even to think about it, oh my gosh, because I love it so much. It's about encouraging each other. Can you imagine? <laughs> I've said many times that I don't think a show like this would work in the United States. I hope that I'm wrong, but you know, we just love winning as Americans. We wanna be number one. Anywho, this show is about really encouraging your fellow artists around you. Ah, that is my heartbeat. <laughs> so that's what's going on here. Hank Port is actually a more classical musical theater star. He played the Phantom in Phantom of the Opera and was one of Andrew Lloyd Webber's favorite Phantoms. Emma Heaster's from what I remember, because this has been a while since I've watched this, but I think she was discovered on YouTube. She was starting to do her music on YouTube and she just has a gorgeous voice. So this is what's happening in the Netherlands. Shows like this, where people just get to listen to each other, colleagues get to listen to each other and encourage one another. How cool is that? <laughs>
just holding back the tears. I'm so excited to hear some of these lyrics sung in English. Emma broke into English there for just a bit. So as I'm watching Floor watching Hank, I'm reminded that she loved him as a little girl. She saw him play Phantom, I believe, if I'm remembering the story correctly. And then to be on the show together was just like a dream come true for her. So that's pretty cool. I actually did a reaction to their duet, Phantom of the Opera. I'll be sure to leave an information card for that. heavens. I'm remembering too, the band from this show is absolutely incredible. What you've got to understand that's happening as well is these singers are singing songs outside their wheelhouse. So they're doing everything from opera to, and it's kind of pop, opera, I guess it, I, you could call it, but they're doing all these different songs. So multiple songs in one show are are happening and the band is just so incredible they are so capable they're so able to do whatever is required and really give a good grounded foundation for these vocalists to just shine it's absolutely incredible I'm loving this arrangement I love their voices together I love the interplay and how they they're hitting unisons prime unisons now and then and then folding apart and doing other things this is absolutely spectacular i've never heard the original i just did a little bit of reading about this beforehand just to understand what the song was about where it came from so i'm not even sure if andrea's version andrea bocelli's version is similar to this but this is glorious okay let's get back in here we go take a Kleenex break oh my gosh this show it destroys me every time I watch it oh my gosh you guys I'm batch filming some content today and this is the first video of my day so I'm thinking I cannot cry on the first video of the day ah but it's so precious and the reason it just elicits so much emotion in me is because their reactions when they're sitting there they're not put on you might think if this is your first time to see it these people are just faking. If you watch the show and you know the scope and sequence of the whole season, these people are incredibly close to each other. I can't. <laughs> it's so precious. It's the kind of relationship that you want to be having with your colleagues, uh, especially as artists. It's just so special. There's no ego involved. And isn't that refreshing? <laughs> If you notice when you see their faces, they're just filled with joy and love. 
for one another. It's just so refreshing. I've always said, as I was watching this back at the end of 2019, this is the kind of television our country needs for sure, because it's just such a breath of fresh air. It truly is. I do wonder if there's a way for us to watch this show here in the United States. If you know the answer to that, please leave a comment down below because I really would love to catch up with more of the seasons of, of this show, for sure. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. I'm still crying. <laughs> I'm a little weepy today, I have to admit. So there's something that I'm noticing right now, and that is that I'm feeling my feelings more because I don't have all of those things to distract me and medicate my true feelings. I'm not eating the sugar. I'm not e drinking the Cosmopolitans which were really good, by the way. I am trying to just clean up my act, and so that means more tears are coming out right now. It's probably a good thing. And when I watch this, it just gets me in touch with my heart again. So I really appreciate this suggestion, Tom Ward. I think it's really, really good. I think another thing that is so wonderful about this show, for those of you who love watching reaction channels, because I know that if you watch one, you probably watch more than one. That's what I'm learning as I'm getting to know all of you. This is like a reaction show. <laughs> so you're getting to see these musicians react to their friends, their contemporaries. And there's something so satisfying about that. It really draws you in and connects you with the emotion of what's happening in that moment. So to have that kind of connection with your colleagues where you feel that supported and that cheered on, that's a really special place to be. I'm really loving Emma Heaster's voice. So just this past year in 2020, I reacted to Emma Heaster's on Best Designer singing the song Strong. And Strong is Flor Janssen's song that she wrote about her mom. Very, very emotional, very touching. I'll put a card for that one up here also. <laughs> I just think how incredible it is for Emma to have this opportunity as a young artist coming up to be able to share the stage with these heavyweights in the Dutch music scene. And it's so obvious that she's relaxed, she knows she deserves to be where she is, and the show is about encouragement and lifting one another up. You can really shine when you feel that kind of support.
a wonderful opportunity for Hank Port as well, who was definitely the oldest musician invited to be on the show. And he had kind of a resurgence in his career, which was really exciting. He got to go on tour with Floor, and probably more things would have happened for him had the pandemic not shut everything down. I love that part where he does the vivo, vivo. Let's go back and listen to that part again. I love Floor's genuine reaction there. So precious. When they start crying, I can't. I mean, it just, I'm already, I was already weepy, but it just really sends me over the edge. One of the most wonderful things about this moment for me is the fact that you have this group of people who love each other, who love making music, and the song is about love for the muse and for music itself. I mean, I can't even hardly talk about the lyrics the English translation. I mean, I just, I'm going to probably just sob right now because it's so how I feel about it myself. I live for her. I have nothing else. I live for her because from now on, I have no other way out. I live for her because she gives me pauses and notes in freedom. If I had another life, I'd live it I'd live it for her. I'd live for her. The music. Come on, that is so awesome. When you need Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves the best Zongers show. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all of those details in the description box below. Well, once again, I have been destroyed by <laughs> the best Zongers show. I'm going to go and have a little cry now. It's been like being with precious dear friends. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys.